Hey everyone, Mr. Shell here, and this is the remake of the Burning PlayStation 2 games using DVD Decryptor. And in this video, it's going to be a better description and HD quality and so on. And this is probably the easiest burning tutorial ever. And because, well, it's just very easy to do it in DVD Decryptor. And just before I get started, you do need to have a modified PlayStation 2, something that will allow you to play PlayStation 2 games that are burnt using um, a burning process like this and if you don't have a modified PlayStation 2 either using swap magic or um, a, sw uh, a chip inside your PlayStation 2 that will allow you to do that or a modified memory card or wherever you will not be able to actually burn this uh, PlayStation 2 game and play it in your um, PlayStation 2 and it will work so you do need to have a better idea of how to do this anyway let's get started with burning some PlayStation 2 games oh yeah before I start get started again uh, there's an annotation box right here and it answers some of the most frequently asked questions so if you have a question just click on that video also the link is in the video description and you will get uh, probably your question answered if not leave a comment and on that video and I will probably help you out anyway let's get down to some burning go to mode and go to ISO and change from read to write and it will change it to this and this is where you go and burn your PlayStation 2 game first of all select your file right here and this just happens to be my PlayStation 2 game and to find out if it is compatible first of all if it appears in this uh, sector if you find your image and in your uh, place in your hard drive and then it appears here then it probably is very compatible with it and you can get down to some burning if it isn't uh, just check what format it is and then click to the most frequently asked questions annotation right there now and probably I've answered your question just make sure that your ISO is actually an ISO by going to properties and finding that out then press ok and then just open it up now it is open just uh, uh, get your uh, disc your a DVD disc a DVD minus or plus R disc preferable that it's a minus but a plus R disc will not kill you and just place it in then you will notice that a bunch of information like this will come up here which tells you if your DVD is a DVD WR or otherwise erasable or not how many sections whatever and also tells you the, sp um, the size of the thing and the supported speed this disc is not empty it's got a little bit of information on there and I don't have an empty disc to show you but this is basically what will come up um, but it will give you a lot more space and it probably give you uh, and it's also DVD plus R disc so you know you can actually burn it on a plus R and be successful also supported write speeds this is quite important see it supports uh, 4x and 8x you will put it at 4x if it, if you were in my case because it burns it pretty slowly and more accurately you can put it at 8x it will be twice as fast but it will not be as accurate and you could make a mistake but very unlikely but still put it at 4x it's just a recommendation and and you can put that set up there by just going to 4x right there and setting that and then if your disc is actually blank this will appear to be colored just press that and it will burn it onto the disc and that it is as easy as that so the all the links for more information are in the video description or the here's uh, go to the frequently asked questions tab if you have any questions and if I haven't answered your question then please put it in the comments over there and I will uh, answer you and so thanks again for watching this has been Mr. Shell showing you how to burn PlayStation 2 games using DVD Decryptor.